Wow, what a wonderful day it is for February. Can't believe it. Sun shining. I've had to hold to the camera angle, God knows how many times because of the glare. Anyway, enough moaning. I'm off up to the Peak District today to do a wild camp. And uh, I've got with me ration pack, 24 hours. I'm going to open it up and show you in a minute. So let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Someone's given me this as a present. <clears throat> I'm not saying who. Well, they put a Steve's one hour ration pack. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, it gives you there one of multiple melon choices suitable for use on ops. Please take time to complete the closures like a questionnaire, feedback, and all the rest of it. Tells you a little bit about nutritional data. And uh, right, so let's see what's in the box, shall we? Let's see. Instruction manual. All there for uh, you've got coffees, sugar, sweeteners, milk powder, there's even a sport long reach, uh, disposable matches. Uh, what else we got? Tea. Uh, we've got like hygienic wipes and little mints. Little sweets. Rice pudding, <laughs> cat food, oh dear, I think the other half might have put that in as a bit of a joke, tissues, digestive biscuits of which we have with a brew, oh, that puddings, ginger pudding and ginger sauce, hmm. Sausage casserole, hot chocolate drink, tutti frutti flavour drink powder with sugar and sweetness, probably a cold drink. Fruitful muesli, nice breakfast in the morning. Tuna bean pasta, pineapple mango and papaya fruit mix. Grapefruit flavour powder drink, breakfast drink as well. Energy drink. Date and peach fruit bar. Mini bite pretzel. Vegetable curry and rice. Another drink. Tuna light mayonnaise. Good old little Tabasco sauce, can't beat that. So, we're not going to have all that. I'm going to take a selection today, obviously. Um, and then uh, when I'm on site where I am, I'll show you what I've taken. Right, back again, guys. I've just parked up um, in the lay-by by the Fox Outs Inn, just by the side of the road, obviously traffic. And I'm just contemplating where to go. From Monday, it's pretty busy. That's why I never come on a weekend, I always say that, because there's too many people about, but it seems to be quite busy around here, so I need to set up somewhere over this over here. you can see there so I'm gonna head out over that direction I think we'll see there's the Fox House pub sorry about the glare it's very sunny at the minute and I'm uh, gonna go kind of up and over that way you could tour I was going to camp at Car Walk 4, but I think it might be too busy. So I'm going to find a nice little spot that I have been before and uh, see on the way. If 
around myself um, on the higher route rather than the lower one that I wanted, which is down there. But, uh, I think I can get up that way and then come back round. Just sheltered down out the wind and the uh, sunlight. Felt like a cracking spot here, but I've got a dilemma. I meant to pick up some water, some more water, uh, on the way up. And now I find myself on the top ridge. So do I go down to get some more water, burn more energy, to come back up again, if you know what I mean. I can hear water. The water's important at the minute. Filter it when I need it. It's a bit, uh, shall we say, peaty. ourselves somewhere to camp it gets a bit late right <clears throat> I found a great spot but it's a bit close to the path if you watched one of my earlier videos on a camp to the ox stones then uh, a little bit annoying but then again fairly quietish today uh, but then you get dog walkers coming out later on. I don't know. Well, it is um, a great spot. And there's your pathway there running up. Look at there, nice flat ground. You probably won't get all the view, but perfect scenery. I'm trying to shield the sun a little bit. 360 degree view. Or when I get back to the spot I've been before, over in them rocks, which is a great spot quite private as well. Decisions, decisions. Oh, what a glorious day today. Decision made. Woman over there and her daughter. Talking about how much somebody she knows as stashes of money stashed away in the Grand Cayman. So yes, definitely a path I don't want to be on. Oh well, never mind. Oh, very posh. <laughs> we'll have this um, energy drink. And uh, so it's 500 mils. So a bit of energy. Uh, pineapple puppy fruit mix. Some salt. Get the electrolyte levels going back again. And uh, date and fruit. I'll save that later. I've got some biscuits for me coffee. So I'm going to mix it in the cup. Yeah, well, I haven't got a spoon. God, that smells lemony. Mm. Let's see what this tastes like. It's not bad, actually. Refreshing. Mm. Nice. So these are pretty good. Little pieces. Um, these are pretty good. Not have that yet. So 
sorry guys if it's not the normal um, top class food you're accustomed to on this one but uh, normal cooking will be resumed next week I just had to um, get this out of my system and use it right so now I'm refreshed electrolytes back up to speed I've been a little bit dehydrated before it was really warm today for a February so I'm gonna get to my camp and uh, it's a spot I've used before I think I call it Burbage Edge in a Curry. I'll, I'll uh, post a link. So I'll see you in a bit when I get to my little spot. I'm just trying to work out where uh, the spot is. I'm sure, like it was behind a tree. Or was it further over there? I can't remember now. I'll find it. Yeah, we found it. That was hard work. If you're not here, then I'm. What am I going to do? Is this a ledge? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Found it. Ah. There we go, look at that, flat ledge, that was hard work, there we go, oh, perfect, home for the night guys. Was a bit of a scramble but worth it i couldn't find it in the end so uh, anyway cheers and a little uh a wee dram single malt as a present off my mate paul who incidentally just at least uh, 50th so happy birthday once again paul <clears throat> um i think it's called glenn livet i'll post a picture up round about now and uh we'll say about this one Mm. It's quite citrusy, pears, fruity, um, really smooth finish. Right, so I'm going to get the tent set up and uh, we'll get all organised. I'm going to sleeping bag in there and stuff because I've got about, I reckon, it's going to go dark in about half an hour or so. Sun's going down at what it says 17:36, so about eight minutes to put the tent up. Oops. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Morning. Hour, Right, guys. So. Oh, I was selected. It's gone dark really quick as well, but I'll tell you what, it's still pretty warm. I mean, I don't know what temperature is, I'll check it out on my watch in a bit. So, I'm going to have sausage casserole, spice it up a little bit with Tabasco, uh, ginger pudding, ginger sauce, and all I'm going to do is cook in my pan with water, and then use that then for to drink with. I'm just going to use a little, um, my little stove. No messing around tonight. Uh, and I've got a cocoa for bedtime. And some bickies and a little bit of a, a single malt. Uh, a biscuit as well. So, yeah. Alright, so the sausage casserole is on the go. Been sat here watching the stars. And also, um, people riding the mountain bikes. It's been quite relaxing. Temperatures dropped though, but what an amazing day for February. I mean, 18 degrees? Wow, that is amazing. Right, I can hear my sausage casserole bumbly away. And a bit of the old Tabasco in, I think. Mm 
the way it's fired. Oop, all bottled on. Can't see in there, but that's a quite a big banger. Yeah. Well, that's a big thumbs up for that sausage casserole. It was really good. Let's see what the uh, sponge pudding is like then. I'll put some more water in and have a hot chocolate. I know it's upside down, but it's where you're opening it. <clears throat> Tell you what, these bags keep your hands warm. So that's what it looks like inside. We're not, not holding much out for this one, but we'll give it a go. You know what? That's pretty damn nice. I'm impressed with this. Hmm. Right, more time for your chocolate. Hot water. You know what I mean? I hope it doesn't go everywhere. I've got this balanced a bit. <clears throat> It's nice, isn't it? I just tasted yeah. that, it's really nice, but you know, you have to, don't you? Let's get in there. Right, guys, <clears throat> can honestly say that was pretty tasty, especially when you put the uh, single malt in it as well. So, this is what it's all about, folks, isn't it? Get yourself out, do a bit of wild camping. Do, your bit, do yourself a bit of wild camping. That's what it's all about. Right, so I'm going to get tidied up and uh, I'm going to get all cosy in my sleeping bag. Getting a little bit cold now. Temperature's dropped. It's going to be after a warm day. Well, <clears throat> good morning, or is it still good night? Well, it's, it is still good night, really. It's um, oh, half five. It's still about another two hours left of proper daylight. But I've just been uh, <clears throat> just been looking up at the stars. Now I definitely want another camera now. So uh, I think that Canon G7X, one for video and one for doing a lot of other things. So yeah, that's going to be on my list of purchases this year. As, uh, with an iPhone, a little cheaper action cameras can be a little bit limited so i want to get into a little bit more photography again and i i don't want to lug around a big uh big dslr so i'm just going to show you what i've just been looking at but in the form of a picture a constellation that's above my head now i was born in august so i'm a leo uh, so there's like kind of the Leo constellation up above. You might not be interested, but I just thought I'd show you. So it's just like a a picture from an app on a phone. So, but it's just interesting to look at to see what's above your head. <coughs> so anyway, I'll see you in a bit when I uh, crawl out my tent and uh, make some breakfast. I might even make breakfast lying in the tent. I had a great night's sleep. I uh, put my thermarest on top of um, some of this loft insulation on the inside of the tent. So I'll tell you what, it really cozy and warm when I kept this jacket on. Well, uh, actually a little bit too warm at one point, but just kind of had it up, but not the hood of the sleeping bag up. Get my hat on everything. I was really warm and cozy. And a nice still night, not a sound, not a murmur. So that's about. what it's all about. So, I'm going to uh, cook a bit of breakfast in a bit. There's another, probably another lie-in for a couple of hours, I think. But I slept really well last night. I really did. Right, see you in a bit. Well, it's just before dawn. Sunrise. 7.01 and it's 6.50. <clears throat> Already it's light. Camera focus. Oh, struggling. So, I'm just going to have my brew. Use them uh, matches that are in the pack. 
So I am no way going to have that muesli decided. I'm going to have a coffee. And uh, a clean round first. Just use the map as a little table. Yeah. That's the view outside. It'll be a nice lovely day again, I think. Well, a penny dropped before, but let me cook. Instead of trying to balance it on the three pongs, prong, but it's like that oval shape. You sit it there like that. A bit of a slump, and it sits in perfectly. This was a one end just tucked into there. Ooh. Right, coffee time. Coffee's all right. <clears throat> what have we got? You can see that. Beyond the beaten track biscuits. I got the camera on reverse. It's not the best image, you know. So I'll give some biscuits to go on my coffee box. That's going to be my breakfast this morning. Oh, it's going to be a gorgeous day again today. So it's the 26th of February, no doubt before uh, we get this lot uploaded, might be about in another week and a half or so, that's about the norm. Um, yeah, I do all my filming on this iPhone and uh, it's getting its limitations now because I pull all the video feed off uh, what's called OneDrive and it takes ages. And then um, I'm a bit tight. I'm not paying for an additional um, space. So I just keep it to the minimum. So I run out quite quick and then I've got to upload. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, definite purchase. <clears throat> the sun coming up now. I'll have to show some colours on here. Gorgeous. Do a bit of tight. Good job. There's a bit more clouds in the sky. I could have had a bit more time lapse and everything. But the sun's just breaking down. Really next good. one is definitely going to be a bike one and I'm going to do it up in Scotland and uh, I know where I'm going to go as well so stay tuned folks I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I hope you've enjoyed going through like the ration pack idea but um, I'm going to get packed up now because there's a few like runners and what time do these guys get up in the morning one guy was like walking around in the dark before. God knows what he was doing. Sun was just breaking down in the valley now. I was going to try that forest area over there, but I didn't need it. As mentioned on another video, that Crow Walk Fort has been there since I think the Iron Age or the Bronze Age. There's a plane going overhead. So the big rocky outcrops. This has been above my head. Way down there, in the old person jogging. Apparently, this is a very uh, quite a popular rock to climb. And you still see like the scrambly way up there, and like oh yeah, there's a handhold up there. No, not for me. Also as well, from up there, across to, say, Carl Walk, 
it used to fire it used to be a military firing area and uh, over there you'll see scars of like mortar shells and bullet holes in the rocks <clears throat> i suppose he sent them back this way as well uh world war one I, I think might have even been two as well just testing artillery Right guys, come a bit closer. Oh. So I hope you like this little adventure. Uh, if you did, uh, big thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell icon for any like future notifications. But uh, I'm going to get packed up now, and I will see you on the next one. But I'll. Uh, do a little bit more video on the walk back all right all the best remember always an adventure see you later guys